Welcome to the Billionaires Book Club where I review, read, and discuss books written by billionaires. Last video I reviewed and read and discussed this book by Felix Dennis, the man behind Maxim and all the Maxim models on Maxim. The man who apparently had a ravenous sex life and is a billionaire apparently. And you can check that video out. I like certain parts of this book. One of the big things is that he focuses a bit on other things outside of money. Is it worth the sacrifices you have to give up? What, will it bring happiness? Those sort of things. So again, I think that's important. Now we're going to be talking about his sequel. It's not really a sequel, but it's a more focused book on wealth. It's called The Narrow Road, A Brief Guide to the getting of money and the one before focused more on business if you're an entrepreneur if you're in business if you're thinking about starting a business how to get rich is what you want to read this one however it's more broad in the sense that you know although it is focused a lot on business as well it also mentions a lot of points that are relevant to success in life. So if you're not looking to get into business and you want to follow a certain career path, whether it's acting or music and so forth, which again, you can still make plenty of money with, he has 88 points to get you there. And he gets very specific in these points, things like on luck, on shortcuts, on debt, on emulating, on delegating, on persistence, on self-belief, on rivals, on misfortune, on taking stock. All of these things are very important. Again, I've seen all of these factors, most of them, in other entrepreneurs or successful individuals, athletes and so forth, actors, actresses. Again, based off me looking at this list, you do not need all of these things. But each of them may help you increase your chances. I mean, in terms of on courtesy, there's been a lot of people who have achieved wealth who are not so polite. And that's worked for them. And so forth. And as far as business goes, there's a lot on business here. And this book gets very specific in that aspect. He has chapters on cash flow, on startup errors, on happiness, on management, on hires, on team spirit, on consensus, on dress code, on ownership, on customers, on suppliers. All that stuff as well. And here's the thing. His chapters are sometimes one or two pages long. Sometimes they are much longer. And it's, I would say, a very interesting read because it's, it's quick. You know, each chapter, you can tell by the size of the pages and the length of the chapters, which are literally like two or three pages long, that it's, in generally speaking, a quick read. And at the same time, he does throw in a little bit of uh, humor or I would call it in, ingenuity, ingenuity or cleverness for instance chapter 82 on dragon cages and it's this basic it's basically this whole metaphor on uh, what a dragon cage is which he described what it really is it's on buying a business or getting into a business and focusing too much on the fact that it's making money and not letting it go or moving on to something better where more money is to be made or whatever else because you think that this is where the money maker is. So I can't say I agree or disagree with that. I would say personally from my experience and readings, I would say you want to more focus on something you're passionate about rather than, rather than chase the money and you know chase business ventures for how much money they're making. But he does bring a good point in the fallacy of being trapped in a business because you think this is where it's at and you don't, you're too rigid and you won't, you're not flexible enough to move on or move to something else. It's well worth the read, I, I definitely think. This man knows what he's talking about for the most part. He's made quite a lot of money. Again, it's not perfect. You have to take everything he says with a grain of salt. Just because someone's worth a billion dollars does not mean he's perfect, does not mean he doesn't have some things he can sort out. 
Look at Donald Trump. He's worth like what seventeen billion dollars, and yet I mean I don't even have to tell you. Um, so that's all I gotta say about this one. As always, like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video if you're subscribed. And let me know in the comments what you think about this book. Will you check it out? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's a scam? I don't think it's a scam because it's literally like okay, uh, from my experience in dealing with customers or management or hiring this is what went wrong this is what i suggest you do it's like how is that a scam that's his personal stories and experience in creating the wealth that he did so that's my opinion on this and as always um if you want to check out this book if i can remember i will leave a link in the description of this video if you want to buy this off amazon.com thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video. Peace.